with skincare item, first of all I want to apologise actually the lighting, I'm not sure why this half needs very red hair and this half is not. Don't know what's going on, sorry. Um, okay, so I'm back to reviewing a skincare product. This is an Ultimate Facial Cleansing Oil by Sanctuary Spa. Um, I'm hugely into oils at the moment and trying different facial oils. I think in the last five years, oils have like wormed their way up the beauty path and everyone is obsessed with oils for taking off their make makeup and cleansing their skin, an extra boost of moisture. There's loads and loads of different types of oil and different uses. But this one is a facial oil that, um, well, it's meant to dissolve your makeup and cleanse your face. So I bought this on Cloud 10 Beauty for... $15.95 I think it was. It's available in Boots for $16.99 so it's kind of mid-range price-wise. Um, this is not going to be a positive review. I don't like it. Um, okay so I, I didn't do much research. It sounds amazing on any website. Any description of this product sounds amazing. Loads of vitamins. There's fatty acids in it to plump your skin. Loads of essential oils. There's what are some of the oils that are in it? Argan oil, soy oil, oil, avocado oil, organic jojoba, jojoba, is that how you pronounce it? I can't remember how you pronounce that word. Loads of different oils and vitamins and everything inside in it. I just didn't like the way it worked. Now Fleur de Force included this, I think it was in her 2015 favourites, I think it was, as one of her favourite kind of budget facial oils. Um, I just, I don't like it. Um, I just don't like the way it feels on my skin. Okay, first off, I'll tell you how it works. Okay, first off, I misread or misthought what this product was. I thought it was a cleansing oil in that you apply the oil to your face and you take it off with a pad. This is actually works with water. So I started using it. I misused it the first time I used it. I just put it on the skin, wiped it off with a pad. And I was like super, super, oil super oily afterwards. It didn't come off with the pad and I was like what is going on this can't be right so I read the back of it which I probably should have done first hand and you are meant to use it with water so what you're meant to do is take one to two pumps um massage it into your face it's meant to dissolve your makeup I don't find it does an amazing job at dissolving the makeup and then you're to use some warm water over the sink warm water and massage it in and it turns into kind of emulsion I find once the water hits it it gets thicker. I don't find that it glides around the skin very nicely and it's really really hard to get off. Like any other cleansing oil that I've used with water usually they foam up to a nice, they don't go foamy or bubbly but they go to a kind of milky consistency which is lovely on the face and you wash it off and you're clean. I feel like this once the water hits it it actually gets thicker and sticky and I find it, I can't get it off my face as well. You're meant to just rub it off with your fingers. I definitely, definitely have to use a muslin cloth or a face cloth with this. Um, so I'm really, I was really not liking the way the water mixed with it. on the back of this there's loads and loads of information on the back of it which I do love and I do like the packaging I love that it has a pump um, it's a lovely pink girly kind of looking product um, so I love the packaging and stuff price point is mid-range like I said I just don't I just don't like the way it works I've used other ones that are much much nicer the one that springs to mind straight away is the Una Brennan Super Facialist one um, I much much prefer that it's the same kind of product it's an oil that you rub to your face and then um, take it off with water works a hundred times better than this. I just don't like it. I don't like the smell of this either. Um, reviews that I read were saying that it's not super, super like smelly, but it is. The first time I opened it, I was like, mm -mm. Oh, I just don't like the smell of it. I think it's chamomile and lavender and I'm not a fan of lavender. So that's, that's through no fault of the product. That's just my own personal preference. I don't like lavender. So unfortunately I won't be repurchasing this. Repurchasing this. Um, 
I feel like maybe it will work better for people with much drier skin. I find like after I washed it off, I still felt like I had a residue. Normally what I do as a pre-cleanse, I use micellar water and then I would use this kind of a product to deep cleanse the skin. I feel like I have to use something else after I use this to get the residue off, unfortunately. So there is my quick mini review of Sanctuary Spa Ultimate Facial Cleansing Oil. Unfortunately, it just did not work very well for me, but a lot of people do seem to love it. So I think it's just kind of hit and miss really depending on your skin type I just didn't like the consistency of it at all um I will leave a blog post of the same review down below with um kind of pictures and all the information if you're interested and if you have tried it and worked well for you let me know and if you tried it and didn't like it either let me know too so I hope you enjoyed the review any questions leave them below and I'll see you in my next one bye to mention love is always a walking